So one of my clients came to me and he said, I messed it up. I completely messed up how I was manifesting. But honey, you can't mess up a manifestation. The only way your manifestation fails is if you give up on it. So what is it that's going on? Why does it feel like things aren't manifesting? We'll talk about that. that you feel like you have completely screwed up the manifestation process. And really, I get it. You tr hear about new techniques, so you want to try them, so you switch what you're doing midstream. You hear about some new, you know, way to completely speed things up, so you try to add that in at the last minute, and it throws off your flow. And before you know it, you're wondering what happened and what am I even doing at this point? Relax. First of all, we have all been there. It is not just you. Secondly, it is impossible to screw up your manifestation. Really, it is. The only way to completely derail a manifestation is to stop manifesting it and walk away. And if you had done that, obviously you would not be sitting here talking to me about it, right? Right. So you haven't screwed it up. You have not lost what you were doing. You may have delayed it a little bit, but we'll work through that. Okay? Delays we can work through. So why is it that I say you can't mess it up? We're dealing with quantum energy, right? Your brain is telling the energy in your morphic field what it desires to bring into your life. The energy in your morphic field interacts with the energy throughout the rest of the universe to bring that energy that you desire to you. It is that simple. The more you are embodying this energy is in my life, the sooner that energy comes into your life. So what do we do to mess this up? Well, the first thing we do is we focus on it's not here. It's not here. I want it, I want it, I want it to be here. Why isn't it here yet? And every time we sit there and say, it's not here, we're creating more, it's not here. So the more often you're sitting there freaking out because your manifestation hasn't dropped into your lap yet, the more you are pushing away the thing that you're trying to manifest. Yes, I always have a mug of tea with me. It is incredibly calming. The second thing that we tend to do to delay our manifestations is we give up. We sit there and we put in the work and we put in the work. And we may put in the work for a whole week and it's not here yet. And I thought it would be faster than this, so it must not be working. Okay, you can think that way. But tell me something, if what you are trying to manifest is physically located on the other side of the planet, how long is it going to take for it to come to you? The energy has already been sent out. It has been set in motion. How long is it going to take for this physical object to make its way to you? If your manifestation is coming into fruition by means of you running into someone and talking to them and starting a business together and suddenly achieving wealth that way. Have you talked to the person yet? Has this person come into your field of being yet? You don't know, do you? You do not know every step of the manifestation. This is where trusting the universe comes in. And sometimes things are not going to manifest in the way you think they should. So, deep breath, trust the universe, and keep going because you never know when that business partnership, when that lottery ticket, when that stroke of fortune that brings your manifestation into your life is going to appear. Don't give up. Keep going and keep the energy flowing. Okay? Now, the third way 
that we tend to derail our manifestations is we refuse to accept them. I know that sounds like such an odd thing to say, doesn't it? But it's true. It is something that we tend to do. Now, by refusing to accept the manifestation, what I mean is it's coming into your life in a way you did not expect. And it may be coming into your life not only in a way you didn't expect, but in a way you completely do not see coming. So what do I mean by you've turned away your manifestation, you've refused to accept it? Well, let's say you wake up one morning and you make your cup of coffee and your roommate used up the last of the creamer last night and didn't tell you. And uh, that means I need to get dressed and go to the store and buy more creamer and I really don't want to. Okay. So you decide not to do it and you drink your coffee with just sugar instead. What you missed was the universe had set a string of incidents into place for you because you see, by the time you had gotten dressed and gone to the grocery store to pick up the creamer, you would have bumped into your high school best friend who has this idea for a new business and is looking for someone that can help them idealize on it. And hey, you have just the skill set they need. And wow, you want to go in and become partners and then make a million dollars. But since you did not follow through on that urge from the universe to go to the grocery store and get creamer, that string of incidents could not happen. So you missed out on that opportunity. And now even though your manifestation to be incredibly wealthy is still going, the universe has to set up a new method for bringing it into your life. Instead of being your best friend from high school, a new opportunity has to present itself. And we have to have the string of incidents that leads to that new opportunity coming in. What is that new opportunity going to look like? Who knows? It's your manifestation. Your manifestation was to be incredibly wealthy. However, the universe is working behind the scenes all the time to bring that manifestation into your life in a way that your brain can comprehend. One of the reasons that we don't just sit on the sofa and think happy thoughts until a million dollars falls out of the sky is because our logical minds would break if that happened. We would have complete and utter physical meltdowns if a million dollars suddenly came running out the ceiling. I mean, really, we would. So the universe has to arrange the bridge of incidents to bring this manifestation into our lives in a way that we can accept and that won't completely shut down our cerebral cortex. That's something that a lot of people forget as they're doing their manifesting. You are not just having one thing occur. You are setting up event after event after event after event after event to bring in your desired result. Give those events time to play out. And when you get that hunch from the universe, Follow through on it. Don't turn away your manifestation just because it's inconvenient to put on pants at seven in the morning. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about is some of us turn away from our manifestations because we're afraid. We want this. We want to feel completely financially independent. We want the incredible soul sweeping love. We want the desire. But at the same time, we know that that having that desire would change us on a fundamental level. Being with a soulmate changes you. Being wealthy changes you. Being anything other 
then who and what you are now requires change on your part. Are you willing to accept that change? Or are you so afraid of what it would do to you to make that change that you hold yourself back? Do you allow your fear of what this would do to me keep you from having the success that you want in your life? A lot of us do, and there's no shame in it. The key is, if that is what you're doing, you have to call it out. You have to name it. You have to say, yes, I'm afraid of how it would change my life to not have to worry about how my bills are getting paid anymore. I am afraid of how many people would come out of the woodwork asking for money if I suddenly had gobs of it. I am afraid that if I fell into a soul-sweeping love that I would then lose it and be devastated like I was the last time. What is your fear? Confront your fear, do the shadow work, and be willing to accept the change that you are calling into your life. So, no, you didn't screw up your manifestation. Don't panic. We do have a solution for you. You just have to figure out which solution you need. And I will see you on the next video.